Basa looks quite a small, slight figure against the tall, white figure of Macaulay, who stands five feet, seven and a half inches. That's very tall for a flyweight. They're wearing six-ounce gloves, which does correspond with our rules. And, and over goes Macaulay in the opening moments of this fight. And a compulsory eight count. This is the other WBA rule. So Macaulay down in the first minute or so. And suddenly, the little man, Bassa, looks overwhelmingly confident. Well, Macaulay has been down before and got up and won. And he's going to have to do it again if he wants this title. He's got a punch himself, Macaulay. And he needs to get it in right now. Basser is a typical little Latin American swarming fighter. And there's a danger here that he might just overwhelm McCauley before McCauley's had a chance to warm up. Good left hook from McCauley, but he badly needs it and he's taking a hammering. And Basser very slow to come off his tool. Fidel Basser. And this Belfast crowd trying to rouse McCauley into some sort of spirited comeback. Good combination, left and right. He got caught cold in that first round, but he's beginning to warm up a bit. But the blood still at his right eye. Crowd are warming to him. The head of Bassa comes in. There's the bell. You can hardly hear it in the noise. Time. They haven't heard the bell. The referee's waiting for him to come off the stool. And the bell has gone. And Bassa, almost 10 seconds late in coming out. For some reason, they didn't seem to hear the bell. Call his corner certainly did. Macaulay needs to keep him at long range if he can. He's dangerous with his head again. bobbing and bouncing around moving from side to side and he's done him he's got him he doesn't know where he is Basser. he's up and they're still counting it's a compulsory eight count and his legs don't look right to me third round 30 seconds to go can mccauley pull off the win of all time here he staggered him with the left again there's the right that's the one that got him what an unbelievable fight, he's got him hurt again. Not counted as a knockdown. No knockdown, said the referee. The first one most certainly was. There's the bell, nobody can hear it. And the referee pulls them apart and suddenly the whole fight looks completely different. Isn't that amazing? Well, I don't know. I don't quite see what hit him there. Slow to come off his stool, and he gets well booed for it this time. Good right hand from Basel. Good left again from McCauley. McCauley getting the come on sign from his corner all the time. Get in there. Come to him. An amazing fight. Round four. Punch from Baza. Paulie looks as though he's been through 15 rounds already. The state of his face. Baza looks unmarked, but yet inside, he's been hurt. Oh, a cut left again from Paulie. 
and that only spurred Vassar into fierce retaliation. What an amazing contest this is. Vassar's head rubbing into McCauley's face, into all those cuts across his nose and under his eye. Good right hand from McCauley. Forced Vassar to back off. But still, putting together an astonishingly good fight, considering what happened to him in the first round when he was close to defeat. says that was not a knockdown he waved to the timekeeper said no count what if that wasn't a knockdown I'm a Dutchman beautiful short left anyway he didn't get the benefit of his eight count which he should have had under WBA rules so the referee has done him no favors he's got him again he could have him out here if he catches him once more like that the sixth round Macaulay poised on the edge of an incredible victory there's only 10 seconds go, he won't get him this time, I don't think. But he so nearly had him. Tied up on the ropes, Mr. Morgan has to separate them, and we've had another sensation. Muttering something to himself. some of these punches it was really astonishing Bass has cut now on the right eye one more little sensation Bass has got quite a nasty looking cut above the right eye and again he gets told about the head so once more they come out for this remarkable WBO flyweight title fight the astonishing thing is that we're only just now coming up to the halfway mark punch from Bassa good little left uppercut from Bassa putting together the better work in this round and McCauley was punched with the right hand and then I think it had the full weight of Bassa on him it's not counted as a knockdown he was pushed over as much as punched over but it's a sign of his tiredness He's having a rough, rough round here, McCauley. The head is in his face again. Left uppercut. That was harmful. McCauley's taking a lot of punishment inside as well. come flooding in from Bassett. McCauley tries to keep him away, tries to find another of those whipping left hooks. But Bass has got too much strength for him, I think. McCauley trapped in Bassett's corner. Oh, he's got him! He swung one and found it. Oh, isn't this absolutely amazing? He swung another one and found him yet again. How many times is that? Round nine. Sheer courage. But he can't quite get rid of him. You've never seen a fight like it. Bass is glassy-eyed, he really is. And he's gone again and he's staggering. McCauley can win it. He's only got to find one more good punch and it'll all be over. But now Bassa's coming back at him. 
You've never seen a fight like it in your life. The pair of them can hardly stand up. He's got up. Will he be allowed to continue? Yes, he will. 30 seconds. McCauley surely must get him. Bassa doesn't know where he is. He's throwing punches from instinct. The seconds ticking out in this round. McCauley's got the world title, if only he can find him once more. Bassa can hardly stand up. Oh, he got him with a right on the bell, but it's time for a minute's rest, and Bassa is rescued. Would you believe it? You've really got to admire the pair of them, because they've put together the most amazing fight. There we go again. What on earth is coming next? He's rubbery legged again, Bassett. The head again. He banged the head into McCauley's face. The heads again. Really, Bass has done enough here to get himself disqualified. Oblivion in the first round and we still don't know which way it's going to turn out put punches together they've given each other so much hell that they're glad to stand off and have a breather quietest round of the fight on the line and I don't think I've put my money down now slowed right down or has it McCauley can't turn him and get off the ropes good uppercut from Bassa as much as they can do to swing their arms got him again and you have to hand it to Bassett because he's putting up some defense of his title he's been gone seemingly gone twice oh it's a good right good right from Bassett McCauley in trouble on the ropes the bell coming at a very opportune moment indeed for McCauley that was a good right and McCauley may go down The ropes kept him up, but he was hurt. Round 13. Surely not unlucky 13, is it, for McCauley? Surely not. After all he's been through. Bassa sees his chance. Oh, he's gone. McCauley's going. Oh, isn't that sad? He's over, and I think he's out. I don't think he's any more to give. And in fact, Barney Eastwood has thrown the towel in from the corner. It's all over in the 13th round. And the desperately sad sight of Macaulay, who so nearly tonight became flyweight champion of the world, is still on his back as Bassa and his camp celebrate a truly amazing victory. It was unlucky 13 for Macaulay. Everything went from him. He'd been caught earlier, trapped on the ropes. He had nothing further to give. And that was the one that brought it all to a tragic conclusion from Macaulay's point of view.